hey youtube welcome back everyone to my channel i'm so excited to share so i had done um all my nails like with just gel polish i'm going to show you guys how i did this little method i did it i think maybe three years ago when i had to go to the dentist office and i didn't have my nails so i had taken off the video because i really didn't like the way they looked but I tried this method again and I really liked it. Um, obviously all the fingers I have right now because I had to go so fast and I was being really sloppy with it. I didn't think it was going to work, but it did. So I kind of like was sloppy with it. Plus my grandson was on his way, so I didn't have the time to do it. So when he got picked up today, I went ahead and took off two of my nails to show you guys one i already knew how to do that method and the and this one that i'm going to do on the thumb it was an experiment and it really worked out so what i do is i put the nail tip and this is just a quick fix like if you have to go somewhere and you don't have time to do acrylic nails uh, I have to come up with ways because you guys all know me. I'm all into my nails regardless. Like I have to have my nails all G'd up as much as I could. And like when I have to clean and do heavy duty stuff, I like to wear them super short. But I always like to give myself a design. I like to put gel. And as you all know, I definitely have like no nail bed. Like I just don't have a nail anymore. So I have to find ways to work with my nails. So what I do here is I put a nail tip, I cut it really short, and I'm gonna go ahead and file as much as I could so that it doesn't look thick um, from the nail tip so that when I put the gel, it's gonna look um, even instead of looking like all bulky. So even so you guys got to trust the process of what i'm doing so you're going to file down as much as you can obviously don't overdo it because you're going to finish up the whole nail and you need that little nail tip at the end of your nail so i'm filing it down and i'm fixing it up so this is a one method that i tried to experiment with and we're going to go ahead and put uh like one coating of the uh, pink polish so right here, I'm just setting up pretty much, fixing up the nail with a little alcohol to take off any debris, any oils or any of the, of the powder, dust, hairs, whatever I can take off. So I'm going to put pretty much a layer of the clear top coat. Okay, so this is not top coat. This is the polish. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to put one little layer of my top coat. I could have sworn, you guys, seriously, I thought I had put one of the clear top coats, which you could actually if you're going to do a different design. But in this one, I wanted to put just that one little coating of the pink, as you guys can see. And this this um particular design so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the lamp for about 30 seconds and then i took it out and i put some of the rhinestone glue just so i can go ahead and paste whatever i need to put on there and i needed to like not be moving all over the place so it's going to be a little bit of the butterflies so i'm going to pick some pink ones some of the other ones and we're going to put some glitter and we're going to put we're gonna put them in the lamp for 30 seconds so that it dries and it cures. Why did I say dry? Oh my gosh. So that it cures, excuse me, you guys. It's late and I'm trying to do these little bit of videos that, you know, I like to share my ideas. I think my ideas sometimes are really cool and very helpful for us busy moms that have a busy schedule, but we still wanna look nice. I think these ideas are awesome to share so we're gonna go ahead and clear this i mean clear this oh my gosh we're gonna cure this i'm sorry you guys i have no idea how many mistakes i'm gonna make tonight and what you're gonna do after you cure it you're gonna go ahead and put top coat on top of this and you're gonna go ahead and cure it 
for this particular design it's totally different from the other one that i'm going to show you because you don't have to put as many coats as you can see we did one we're going on to the second one here so i'm actually going to write it down and count them because i didn't write it down so right here as you guys can see we're on the second one here we're on the third one I really enjoyed doing this for you guys I thought it was super cool right here we did a fourth one so on this one I didn't write it down I did write it down on the pink one and look as you guys can see we're gonna get a file we're gonna get the soft side on the buffing part we're gonna buff it out and I'm even gonna use my drill and I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out as well This is like such a cute design. So you're pretty much using the gel and you're gonna shape it up like if it's working with acrylic and you all know I love to work with acrylic. Um, I'm not really like a gel person to tell you the truth. I used to work with the hard gel. I love my acrylic, but this totally feels like a little bit of the acrylic because especially like if you're trying to let your nails grow out you can totally do this method and your nails will look super nice because you know how when you go get your nails done they literally leave you with no nail so you put a whole bunch of these coats you sand it down you can use a drill or you can just use your um file and it really works out so as you guys can see right here we already shaped it down and we're going to go ahead and put a coat of our top coat gel. We're going to go ahead and cure it. So I'm going to write it down because I totally forgot how many I did. So, so far this is our first coat after we went ahead and sanded the whole thing down. See how nice that looks. We're going to go ahead and do another one. So that's already two top coats. As you guys can see on some of the areas, it's almost like I'm doing an acrylic nail. I'm trying to shape it so that it looks cute. And as you guys can see, we only did two top coats on, on the, um, the little butterfly one. After we went ahead and did four of them, you guys saw exactly how I did it. And then we did the last uh two top coats and we filed it down okay so i'm gonna go ahead and erase that you guys got the idea so right here on this nail i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i worked with all of them but this time i'm gonna try to actually do this one uh perfect instead of making a big mess like i did with the other ones because i was trying to be super fast my grandson was on his way so i went ahead and did one nail just to show you guys that if you do this like right and you take your time it should come out super cute um so i did write it down and on this one we went ahead and did about five of the color we cured each each layer that we put we cured it for about 30 seconds under the lamp and i did this about five times and then i went ahead and put one clear top coat and then I went ahead and filed it down and then I added another color and I put two top coats and that was it I think it came out super cute oh goodness so anyways you guys a lot is going on we are super super busy i got to see my grandson i did a short live so you guys can see it the kid the i mean the kids <laughs> my baby came over my grandson i got to spend some time with him i took advantage and put him on my live i want to keep all of these videos for memories um he's already four months in three days He's growing so fast. I can't even believe it. He's now holding his head when before I had to hold his head. Um, I did get sick, so I didn't get to see him because I didn't know like if I had some kind of virus. I didn't know. All I know is that they told me 
that I had an inner ear infection and I was treated for it and you all know the story that I was super sick I almost passed out kind of thing I had like the vertical symptoms it was crazy and it took me all this time and I feel like I'm still recuperating I still feel dizzy sometimes and weak um but I finally got to see my grandson I was so excited I got to spend the whole day with him uh I hope you guys check out my live he's in there he's adorable I'm supposed to do these beautiful rainbowy uh long long nails um these nails are just for now so that I can go ahead and clean up some stuff I have to do and I'm gonna go ahead and um just pretty much uh have them on until i actually get around to my video which i'm hoping i can do it tomorrow so hopefully i can have another video uploaded for you guys with my long long nails i'm gonna do bare nails different colors so i'm really excited about it um it's just like i said we're super busy there's a lot going on and i'm really trying to get to my videos but as you guys all know i have a big family a dog a grandchild and there's too much going on that i have to take a pause sometimes but obviously i will get back to my videos because i love doing my videos um you guys can see right here we're gonna go ahead and do that one layer that i told you guys that was left after filing and then we put the uh, two top coats, the clear ones, and it looks beautiful. And you guys are going to totally see the difference between this nail and all the other ones, how messy they are. And that's because my grandson was on his way. I couldn't go. I tried to go as fast as I could, and that really did not work out for me. So I went ahead and cleaned up two of the nails, and I showed you guys, and... I went slow on it so you want to take your time with this and actually these nails can last for a pretty long time you guys you guys can even have them on for about three weeks if you wanted to I would recommend you do it every two weeks but it gives you that extra layer that you don't have of a nail uh, you know when you go get them done and if you're trying to grow out your nails as well and you're trying to do it the healthy way I encourage you guys to try this method um, with that said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, I love to share all my ideas with you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put that little like. It really helps the videos out. And if you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit that little bell notification. They'll notify you guys of more videos that are to come. Don't forget to check out my live with my little grandson. And you guys can't wait to see you guys here on my new video. Have a great one, you guys. A great weekend and happy Father's Day to everyone out there that's a good father. And happy Father's Day to my father as well. I hope he's having a great one. And I will see you guys here on our next video. Take care, everyone. Hey. Mm -hmm.